felt and uh, structural uh, uh, things. So uh, he will be presenting on device closure of complex ASD. This is none other than Dr. Abdul Momin, who has done already more than 600 cases. Respected chairperson, learning audience, it's my great pleasure to present in front of KKSR. And my cases is complex ASD cases. Complexity may be in the morphology of the ASD. Complexity may be in the uh, uh, in the presentation, complexity may be in the uh, procedural complexity and complexity with other congenital heart disease and ASD with LV disease. So I like to cover, and uh, Dr. Chandramani already covered few of my slides, so I'll skip it. So when we are difficulties in, uh, in engaging the uh, device, we can here we try the RUPV approach, but failed. But from LUPV approach, this is catching the device in LUPV, and this is catching the device from RUPV approach, and we can easily engage the cath uh, device nicely. So this is uh, how we can, uh, dif uh, some difficulties can be, uh, uh, we can uh, overcome the difficulties. And when the rims are floppy, these are the extremely floppy rims in the both posterior superior, posterior inferior, and IVC rim is floppy. We failed, uh, and the, de we, the device, is, uh, device slipped down through, and this is the slippage of the device. And we took the catheter on the other venous puncture. From RUPV approach, we are engaging the uh, device and keeping the wire in, uh, and catheter in position. And then we gradually pull the catheter and the wire. So this is one technique. And when we are not sure that we are in good position, what to do next? This is one case is we, uh, we, are, not in, uh, we are not sure that the, we are catch all the rims. Uh, then we took the uh, snare. We cast the device with the snare. And uh, here we release the device, catching the device with snare. And here only the device is caught by the snare and it is good in position, so we release the device. So we can take uh, this near technique for uh, in difficult cases. And when there is a multiple ASD, we can, uh, we can, uh, we can, uh, this is multiple ASD. Not running, sorry. So this is a multiple ASD. Not moving, not running. So in multiple ASD, this uh, ASD was closed by a single device. We can, uh, we can uh, close it by two device. So uh, by c uh, covering a single device, we have to show that the intervening tissue is less than nine millimeter and it will cover all, uh, all the rims are adequate and we have to pass through the larger ASD device. This is the two ASD uh, separated. One is larger and one is a smaller device. We pass through the, and uh, we engage the catheter. But here is probably we are through the smaller D ASD so there is a residual leak. Then we reposition the uh, guide wires, uh, and, and here, here is the position of the device. Device is through the larger ASD, so it is sure, and it, it caught the uh, ASD rims. All the ASD is covered, and so we release the device. There is no residual and also. So procedural complexity, sometimes there is cobra deformity, and both uh, this is the LADS cobra. We, uh, we managed to tame the cobra by some jar jerking movement. This is the RA disc uh, cobra, and this is managed by some push and pull within the catheter, and the device, uh, cobra is went off. This is a permanent cobra deformity. I cannot manage it. I have to pull it out so, through the sheath, uh, and this is a permanent deformity of the device. The complexity of procedure, this is an uh, uh, unfortunate lady of 32 years have a ASD surgical closure two years back, but unfortunately this uh, uh, disruption of the patches 
we, manage, we have some difficulties because that there is malalignment of the rims. So we first took the catheter assisted uh, uh, engagement but failed. Then we took the ampla, uh, uh, Boston Scientific Equalizer Balloon. Some difficulties. Again, it, it, it is fixed. So this is the equalizer balloon of Amplazer, not running. Amplazer equalizer balloon helped us to position the device. And uh, we gradually deflated the equalizer balloon, and then the device is in good position. This is a, this is a very challenging case for me uh, to, uh, in a surgical case, to do a second surgery. The patient was not willing to do a second surgery, and we have uh, managed is by uh, amplazer equalizer balloon. And uh, we have some difficult cases of uh, concomitant uh, other structural anomaly. So this is, uh, this is how the equalizer balloon help us in put to keep the position of the device. The equalizer balloon uh, pushes the, uh, pushed into the RA when the device is in position. This is another case of surgeon's nightmares, extremely uh, kyphoscoliotic patient, and we uh, deployed the device without any difficulties. This is the, uh, what is need to know the anatomy properly, so this is how we deployed the device. This is an, another case of STEMI inferior presented uh, with, uh, uh, within six hours. We have done the primary PCA on the right side, and, and two days later, ASD diagnosed, and after two weeks, we have done, uh, we have uh, relieved the, we have uh, deployed the device. So a large ASD device was deployed. I don't know why it is repeatedly stuck. Problem Chilana check for a visit of some about to Chulchen. I want another Chulchen. Close for a button. And we have some <clears throat> concomitant structural heart disease patient. Uh, we have MS patient with ASD. First of all, we have done the mitral valvuloplasty first, and <clears throat> then uh, two to three weeks later, we have done the ASD device closer. We have three such Glutenbecker uh, cases. Uh, OK, uh, we have two. I, I have to share uh, Dr. these Moment, cases. Dr. Moment, we have to conduct uh, our question and session here now. So does anyone have any question to the presenter? Or I, can, uh, I, I have one question. Have you ever come across any interrupted IVC patient with uh, ASD? No, no, no never. Okay. So what about a 40 years old lady with an arrhythmia, atrial arrhythmia, like atrial fibrillation and a suitable uh, ASD for device closure? What, is, what would be your approach? For atrial uh, fibrillation, uh, we elderly patients sometimes have atrial fibrillation. We have uh, to make sure that there is, LA, there is no LA thrombus before device closure. 
and there is no LV diastolic dysfunction. So if there is a raised LVADP associated with uh, uh, diastolic dysfunction and we, we close the device, that will harm the patient. So the, the uh, uh, rule is that we have to manage the diastolic dysfunction first and dry up the patient. Then in cath lab, we have to put the uh, pictal catheter in the LV, uh, measure the, uh, and the balloon occlusion will be done. And after 10 minutes of balloon occlusion, if there is no rise of blood pressure, uh, uh, LVDP, or l up to 10 millimeter rise of LVDP can be, uh, can be um, taken. And if this, uh, then we'll deploy the device. Otherwise, if the patient cannot tolerate, we have to postpone the pr procedure. So what about, okay. Uh, can I add something just like, uh, just like, I have, sir, I have two cases of LV dysfunction, but uh, unfortunately, uh, I cannot. Uh, I, arterial flutter or fibrillation in AST patient, I think I'll go for a AST device closure first because most of the patient, I have few cases, they're, they have PSBT, they have arterial flutter, arterial fibrillation after device closure. After one or two months, the rhythm back to sinus, and even they don't have any PSBT episode. So I think if they have such type of arrhythmia, first to close and then wait for the result. So I have one question to Dr. Uh, uh, to sir, that uh, a suitable uh, patient for device closure having a PAPVD of uh, left upper pulmonary vein to innominate vein, small. So uh, will you send this patient to your cardiologist to close and leave that uh, small PAPVD or you'd like to operate it? If it is small, I, 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 I will advise, but I don't know. About as such, a single pulmonary vein anomaly does not constitute an operative pick or, uh, for intervention or single pulmonary vein anomaly. But when it constitutes both the anomaly and the ASD, the QP becomes much more. And uh, if it's very small twig of vein, then you can ignore it. Otherwise, uh, most of the times, uh, I think I would recommend, it's not small most of the times. If you have a PAPVD with the ASD, I would send them to surgery and fix both. I generally tend to do that because you have to help the patient. If you discover it, you usually it's one large. It's usually large. So uh, you, have, you have, if you have, uh, do pulse oximetry. If you have desaturation, send for surgery. No, not PAPVD will Simple. not. Will not uh, so what is the, uh, your preferred method? Balloon I surgery? always uh, send, is there any pulmonary venous anomalies? I always send for surgery. Sir, I have a uh, uh, case here. The patient was in severe PS with bidirectional shunt across the ASD. Along, uh, we correct it by uh, balloon valvuloplasty. Still, the ASD flow is bidirectional. And then we keep the patient in the cath lab, occlude the ASD with a, a balloon, and again measure, and there is a bidirectional shunt in the atrial and, uh, level. And after occlusion of the div uh, balloon, uh, the uh, such a, uh, RA pressure did not rise more than w only one millimeter rise. Then we occlude the device uh, ASD with, and uh, it was a good recovery. Patient after two years with, presented me with twin baby. So what is your uh, experience? No, I, I think that's case? the right way of doing it. You have so to I, do the I'm very unfortunate I cannot uh, see You this. balloon the valve yes. and uh, if there is con continued bidirectionality across the ASD, it's because of Relative RV stiffness. Yes. Uh, you can close it in the same sitting if the RA no, pressure sir, we, doesn't we rise. We try it for th after three months. Otherwise, it's better to do it after some time. Yes. You sir. know, you give it like six months time, three months time, and then do that. It's it's a perfect way of doing it. That's the way I would do it too. Thank you, sir. Okay. okay. So uh, may I request Dr. Naharuma to present.